Okay, so one of the viewer asked me if I can show him the scanning performance of the Samoon S1 in the infrared mode outdoor. So I'm going to make a 3D scan of this uh, tree trunk. As you know that the Samoon S1 has uh, two depth cameras. One is the a larger depth camera that inherit from the auto light and it also can use the uh, high precision camera to make an infrared scan as well so i'm going to test both of this for the tracking performance here's my setup uh, the laptop is uh, rtx 4070 with the uh, ryzen 9 8945h cpu and i'm attached the uh, uh, scanner to the wi-fi handle and the laptop is unplugged uh, because this is how you are going to use it on the outdoor project it's not going to be outlet uh, for you to access three uh, for the small and medium object uh, you can use the high precision camera for the large object you can use the wide angle camera that come with the other light so i'll start with the wide angle camera connect my phone to the handlebar launch the clarity scan app wireless display okay so i just need it for the wireless display I think they improved the screen lacking. Yeah, I say right here, I have about 14, 15 frames per second uh, because. Let's see if I can go a taller. Yeah, I think I can go taller than this. Yeah, I just found out today that they fixed the screen lacking issue. There is no screen lacking. Ah, they still cannot allow you to move uh, this on the phone screen. So you have to uh, do this on the laptop screen. I'm going to uh, finish this. Okay, uh, next I'm going to do this scan again but I will use medium mode right when I switch to the medium mode it's going to use the high definition camera uh, which is this one and the capture area will be much smaller so it's going to give you more detail yeah and it's tracking the trunk quite well until this point I'm going to stop the scans. Okay, this is the uh, other light. I will uh, test this with the large and the medium mode, same as the Samoon S1. So I uh, I like the new uh, Android app here. It's uh, scan the QR code uh, quickly and connect the wireless display uh, very fast. For the other light, you need to use the, the manual exposure uh, you need to adjust the bright brightness until you get the most out of it. So for the other light, I have uh, 16 frames per second. I 
I think it tracks a bit better than S1. I'm gonna finish it. Okay, let's move to uh, medium mode scanning. For the medium mode, it still use this larger depth camera. Only small mode that it will use a smaller depth camera. Yeah, it's very quick. You can see that, right? Ah, automatic works uh, with the with the medium mode. I need to stand up because my knee is killing me. I need it need features. See here when I move it from a high feature area, it will lose the track. Yeah, it, it loses the track. So um you can't move it away from the high feature area in the medium mode. Okay, um, let me stop the scan. And I want to try uh, the other as well, but my kids uh, has a school break and they want to play uh, games on this, so I need to give them the computer. Okay, for the last mode, I'm going to fill this together in a batch and I'm going to use 1.2 millimeter uh, for the resolution. I have about 7.8 million faces from the S1 in the large mode and 5.6 million faces from the other light because it's uh, shorter and I'm going to uh, fuse the medium one 0.4 millimeter for the resolution. Okay here's the texture result from the Samoon S1 in the medium mode and this will be from the other light Okay, let's take a closer look in the lander scene. Uh, you can see that uh, in the medium mode, both scanners will give a considerable uh, higher detail than the large mode. And for the large mode, uh, the Smoon S1 and the Auto Light, they use the same pair of the depth camera and this prove it because it gives exactly the same result. And when I scan it, I can feel that the Auto Light uh, tracks smoother just a little bit, but uh, they both uh, can scan this uh, three trunk without any issue. And the detail on the bark it's exactly the same, so I can't tell uh, which one it was scanned by which scanner uh, by looking at this uh, result. Okay, let's move to the medium mode. Okay, this is the medium mode. Uh, fused with the 0.4 millimeter uh, resolution. S1 gave me almost 7 million faces, and the other light in the medium mode also gave me about 5 million on the resolution. If you look at the bark, the bark, if you call it bark, right? It's almost identical. I cannot see a difference between the two as well. They are different uh, with the scanning. The S1 track much better in the medium mode. I have tried this uh, before when I first got the S1 comparing with the other. Uh, the S1 can track uh, even better than the other in the infrared mode using the high precision camera. Now this is the base uh, tracker it's not the author anymore. If I continue to uh, scan this trunk it will keep uh, tracking it can capture the, the detail the texture on the bar and it tracks using that information and for the auto light it, it had a difficult time with the tracking see here when I start to go up and uh, and scanning the low feature area it cannot use the texture detail to track so I have to stop it about here so the tracking on the auto light it cannot compete with the S1 in the infrared mode. So if you can't use the uh, marker, sticker marker on the object, uh, you don't have time to apply and remove it. You can try using the infrared on the S1. It tracks very good. It's the best geometry uh, tracker so far. All right, uh, I hope this uh, will give you uh, information you need for your purchasing decision. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.